G'day folks. I'm just about to head home after a really enjoyable hour or two down the river cray fishing. You wouldn't even know it's winter. What a glorious afternoon. The only telltale sign of the cold time of year is the fact that I've just got a mild dose of the man flu and that's why I'm heading home now before it gets too late. Now, did you know that you can actually catch crayfish using the same meat and string technique that you can use to catch yabbies? With crayfish in Victoria, hand lines are perfectly legal but you are limited to a maximum of 10. Today I've only ran three. I've only had three lines in the water, but I'm allowed up to 10. I cannot have hooks on the end of the lines. And other than that, the standard rules and regulations pertaining to size limit, bag limit, close seasons still apply and licenses, of course. Actually, this has gone tight. This was quite loose for quite a while. So this may well have a crayfish on it. Yes. This is very heavy. This has been dragged into the snags. No, that's off. It started off heavy and then it went light. And so I'd say crayfish has grabbed it, taken it down a hole, and as I've pulled it, I've pulled the meat out. Actually, there's still a little cray on it, look. There he goes. There was a little crayfish. You can still just see his claws down there. I wonder if I can get him with this net. No, I missed him. There was a little crayfish on it. So I've lost one, and then I've almost caught one. I need to lift me game, I think. I'm not going, I'm not going this bit of string. They don't get much tighter than that. Oh yes, there is a crayfish on that. I am quite sure. I can also feel that he's coming up over a log, and that's usually when they fall off. So far, so good. Can we actually keep one on? I have not caught a crayfish using this meat and string technique for probably 25 years or more. I know, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. I've got this net here, like a landing net, but it's terrible because it's a real thin mesh net. So it's really hard to drag through the water. I reckon we're going to have at least get a visual on this one because he's just not far away. It's just gotten really tight. A bit of weight in this crayfish. He might be a reasonable size. Right, I can almost see the meat. Exciting times, folks. Exciting times. <laughs> Where's the meat? I've got colour. Oh, look at those big white claws. Yeah, look at the size of these big white claws coming up. He's a lovely cray. And I've got him. There we go, folks. There we go. There is the first Murray cray of the day. Have a look at that. The first thing I need to do is look under its tail and see whether it's got eggs. If it's got eggs, the eggs will be under the tail here and they must be put back by law. The second thing, I've, I've ascertained that it's got no eggs. The second thing that I need to do now is measure from the back of its eye socket there, down here to the end of its carapace. And that has to be between 10 and 12 centimetres. If it's not, then I have to put it back. Believe it or not, despite being quite a big crayfish, there is a real possibility that that is undersize. I've got a uh, tape measure here. Now, the first thing I've got to do is measure. The best way to do this is to put his claws out in front of him and hold them both with one hand like that. Put that in the back of his eye socket. Oh, look at that. He is... Exactly ten and a half. He has to be ten centimeters between ten and twelve centimeters from the back of his eye just there to the back of this carapace down here. That line there, which I make. You can see that clear bit is. He's got to be between ten and twelve centimeters to be legal, and he is. He is ten and a half, nearly eleven. So he is almost. Hang on, buddy. So he is almost the perfect crayfish. He is almost the perfect cray. He's a male, he's got no eggs, he's in season, and the season is June, July and August, the three winter months. He's in season, he's got no eggs, he's in size, I've got a fishing license, I've caught him using, caught him using a hand line, of which I have no more than 10, everything is legal. I haven't had a feed of Murray crayfish for many, many years. I'm looking forward to this one.
I'm taking you home. I'm going to put you in the pot of water with a bit of lemon. What do you think about that? A little bit of advice, mate. Don't be too excited. 